Today we pick up our Bible study in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 2 through 5. The Apostle Paul states in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 2a, quoting from the New King James Version, For in this we groan, in reference to his comment in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1, of having an eternal house in the heavens when our earthly body is destroyed. The groaning is the desire to be rid of the corruptible earthly body or tent and receive the heavenly incorruptible body. So we see in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 through 58. In the transformation from the earthly life to the heavenly life, Paul compares to being clothed with the one, but yet desiring to be clothed with the other. This is if not being found to be naked, as we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 3, which is to be without the clothing of salvation found only in Christ Jesus, which would then leave one without the heavenly clothing and thus naked. Paul then reiterates in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 4, that the groaning is not to be unclothed, but to be further clothed by the eternal clothing of heaven, which will then swallow up the mortality of the earthly or fleshly life. Paul then gives credit where credit is due to God, who has prepared us for this very thing, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. As we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 5. The Bible teaches us in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18, and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is a promise of a future heavenly body and of the guarantee of the Spirit until then. As we long for our entry into heaven and of a new body that will be incorruptible, we must also realize and understand that God has put each and every one of us here on this corruptible earth for a purpose. It is this purpose that each of us must, must seek God for our lives in Christ. He has a purpose for us all, but we must submit to him in obedience by giving up our will and seeking his will for our lives. Jesus declares in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And in John chapter 14, verse 23, Jesus states, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Our earthly tent is temporary. It, are, it is our eternal destination that matters most. Dear Lord, please reason with our minds and our hearts that we would not be found naked when we leave our earthly tent, but that we would open our hearts and minds to be filled with your Holy Spirit, being sealed for eternity in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you'd like to learn more about the Bible and how you can apply its lessons in your life, join us each day as we reach out to share Jesus with the world and help us all find purpose in life. Subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications, and don't forget to share YouTube at In Christ Ministries with all your family and friends.